to my channel. I know it's been a while since I posted. Um, I genuinely just don't want this uh, YouTube channel to become, I guess, like a job or a chore. So I've been kind of just filming whenever I feel like it and whenever I really want to. So um, if you follow me on Instagram though, you'll know that I have gone through a couple of setups without filming them and that's just because I didn't really love them. It's just something that I kind of struggled with with the last couple of months or month and a half. I was a little bit like in a planner funk, I guess you could call it. I just was uninspired and I didn't l love my setup to the point to where I wanted to flip through them all the time. I really didn't open a planner as much as I usually do. Um, I like to flip through my planner, which makes me want to open it, but my last couple setups just didn't really spark anything for me, so I didn't open it as much. I'd opened it to do about like the bare minimum um, as far as tracking and my tasks go, but other than that, it didn't really get opened as, as much, basically is what I'm trying to say. Um, but if you are interested, I was in my Moterm Cream Croc for a little bit, and I did film a little silent flip of that for my Instagram stories. So that's in my highlights on my profile on Instagram. Um, but now I'm back in my BDS Noir uh, senior size. This is the Ready to Ship TM line. And um, so my last video on here was actually in my noir, but since that video, I've been in my cream croc and I've also been in my Catspresso Co. clear A6 rings, but I wasn't really in those for that long. My cream croc, I think I was in for about two weeks and my clear A6, I think I was in for like maybe a week. So. I'm back in this one and I am here to flip through my newest setup. I do kind of want to also talk a little bit about my planner functionally. Um, so this might be a little bit of a long video, but uh, here we go. So this is senior size. I'm not sure if I already said that. Um, this is the pen I use. I honestly forgot where I got it, but it's the Uniball Signo. Uh, point three eight so that's the pen and then um where should i start okay so in this pocket this this planner belongs to card that's from uh queen city designs co i'm not going to pull it out because it is customizable so it has my info i do now have a code with lauren's shop it's cassie 15 i'll put it somewhere on the screen i'll also put it down below but um you can use that code for anything in her shop to get a discount. And then this bookmark is from um, Aloe's Creative Corner. That's her laminate page. And then this front, it's engraved, it says my name, and it also has a bunch of really inspirational um, words and cursive around here. And it is from Sparkly Peach Co. This is from the Neutral Planner. I printed it on acetate. So th this is actually, I made this myself on Canva. The quote is from um, someone I follow. Their uh, caption, one of their captions on one of their posts really kind of like resonated with me and inspired me. So I made it into a dashboard on Canva and then I printed it on vellum. I like having it in the front so I can basically just like read it whenever I want. And then this is from the Neutral Planner. I printed it on vellum. This was packaging from Ola Dear Paper that I laminated. And this is from Hey Planner Girl to Table of Contents. This is from Queen City Designs Co. This is from the Crescent Planner. This inbox um, top tab is from Queen City Designs Co. This sticky note is from the Paper Test Designs and Planning with Allo 
collab, um, the template. The actual sticky note, I think, is from cloth and paper. And then this sticky note is from cloth and paper. This is another a uh, this is another template from that collab. And again, it's the same sticky note, I think, from cloth and paper. And this sticky note is also from cloth and paper. This get it done insert I'm using as my inbox is from paper test designs and basically my inbox is only like a few pages long it's not a very big section but i like to have it obviously in the front to remind me of things um that i need to eventually do but also i use this inbox just for like long-term tasks or just kind of like a brain dump area so um yeah i have that here and then i have my to buy list and I believe this is a freebie from Puffin Pages Co. I'm sorry if that's incorrect. And then I have my add to planner list. Um, this is from Peanuts Planner Co. And then I have brain dump. This insert is from Paper Test Designs. Paper Test Designs. I just have some packing lists. Uh, my minimal planner. My minimal planner. This is from Simple and Trendy Co, I think. And this is again from My Minimal Planner. And this is from Paper Test Designs. I just like to keep extra blank sheets in front of my inbox in case I need to scribble stuff down. And I haven't quite figured out what I want to do with the task manager and um, the action task tracker yet. So I just kind of have those just in the front. This is a freebie from Maria Plans. I did print it on vellum. This two pocket dash is from Catspresso Co. Um, this card right here, it's a it says routine. It's from Queen City Designs Co. And then this uh, page flags are from Cloth and Paper. The icons are from Pretty Planner Crafts, and the writing is just from my um, label maker. This I think it's from Sequins and Paper. I could be wrong. I had this for a while this journaling card and then this journaling card back here is from the neutral planner and this bookmark laminate thing is from paper alley and this was a freebie i completely forgot where it's from though so i'm sorry about that and this is from let's make it sparkle this journaling card this um it's either from queen city designs co or the crescent planner i forgot where that one's from and then this is also from the neutral planner and this i made myself this is a freebie from gc plans this is a freebie from ash plans my side tab dividers are from queen city designs co and i believe this is font number five and it's in her white text um so this is my first section it's called boss this is from loverly bones um i found them on etsy and they sell these i haven't been on their etsy in a little bit i've had these for a little while but they sold these in the perfect size of A6. So I bought some and now they're basically just like my section covers. So I got this idea over from Arel at R-L-E-D-Z-N. She has a sticky note in front of each section listing what's in each section. So um, I like that idea. So I made this on Canva. This was a template on Canva actually. And I know it's like really small, so you can't really read it, but it does have the contents of what's in here because I normally have a cover page that lists kind of like what's in each section, but this time I decided not to put them in here. So Boss has goals, finance, personal, and social media. And this was a freebie from another order that I can't remember where it's from either. I've also had this for a while. This is a freebie journaling card from Neutral Minimal Co. on Instagram. She has a bunch. They're scattered throughout my planner. I just discovered her freebies and I love them. And this is one of my freebies. Um, if you want to get any of my freebies, they're linked in my Instagram bio. This is from the Neutral Planner. 
these are my uh, goals insert they're custom from simple and trendy co and then i have my spending rules which i basically just copied from Arel. she does have um, a freebie for her spending rules and i think that's in her instagram bio too but i just kind of made the design on canva myself and then this is also a template from that collab from paper test designs and planning with alo i just have that washi in here and as you can see i have not kept up with this but this is supposed to be my daily spending tracker um this is a custom also from Simple and Trendy Co. And I have it into categories. I have planner stuff, essentials, non-essentials, and takeout. And I just honestly have not been keeping up with it. Um, and this is from Leslie Co. It's a thank you little card from one of the orders I got from her. My online orders uh, tracker is from Peanuts Planner Co. This is also from Peanuts Planner Co. Reoccurring Tasks. And I just have some, obviously, tasks here that I mark off. And then the back is also from Peanuts Planner Co. And I just uh, keep track of some other stuff. And then I have this custom from also Simple and Trendy Co. My cleaning uh, zones. This actually made myself on Canva. But the actual insert itself, this part, is custom from Simple and Trendy Co. And I'm not the greatest at keeping up with this either, but I do try every once in a while. I'll remember to actually mark something off. So I do have that. And then this is from Peanuts Planner Co. Just to keep track of my work shifts. And I just have some nursing school notes. This is all from Peanuts Planner Co., I believe. Study time tracker, which I haven't even used, um, it's from Emma Studies on Etsy. Social media planner, this is from Danica Plans on Instagram. And I, I know she has an Etsy now, but I don't remember her Etsy name, but I'm pretty sure it's probably linked in her bio on Instagram. And then this PR tracker was a collab I did with Your Paper and Line Co. And um, I covered up, obviously, the current PR teams that I am on right now because it has a spot for the personal code. So on these, these are old ones, so I just scribbled it out. And then these are for this term. Um, this is like a social media type thing for to keep track of like videos and reels and stuff and this is from Lizzie plans this is from the Crescent planner this is from papery planning it was a freebie with one of my orders this is from SK journals this one's also from SK journals I think this one in the back the pinkish nude one has the moon phases on it but it just covered up and then this is also from the neutral planner and this uh what is it jelly dashboard is from cat espresso co these cards have my monthly weekly and daily planning routines and the cards themselves are from cat espresso co the page flags are from cloth and paper, and the writing is again from my label maker. And this laminate is also from Aloe's Creative Corner. And then, oh, I'm sorry, my voice just kind of gave out a little bit. And this is the back of this card. It's customizable, so I have my Instagram name, and then I have my actual name, Cassie, over here on the side. This is, again, from the Neutral Planner. This is from Queen City Designs Co. This is my second tab, it's plan. And this is again from Loverly Bones. So this is another uh, freebie card from Neutral Minimal Co. And this is again, another thing that I made on Canva for this section. So this is plan. So it has yearly, monthly, weekly, and daily. And this is a freebie from Hey Planner Girl. This is from the Crescent Planner. This is a freebie from Planning with Lens. 
This is from my Minimal Planner. Hey, Planner Girl. This is another one of my freebies I printed on vellum. This is also from Hey, Planner Girl. This is from Simple and Trendy Co. I just keep it to keep track of birthdays. Future dates. This is from, I think, Peanuts Planner Co. I have more future dates. Um, this is more appointments with a specific person that I go to. And I think this is from Simple and Trendy Co. Sorry, I'm kind of blanking on where some of these inserts are from because I've had them for so long. This is for 2022 future dates and 2023. And these are actually freebies from Sammy's Planner on Instagram. And they're really good, really nice. Um, and yeah, so that was, I only have half the year in here. So that was last month. This is this month. I have a top tab from, again, Queen City Designs Co. And then I have the rest of the year in here. These are my weeklies that I'm currently using. These are from Paper Test Designs. It's actually a mix. So I've seen some people do this. This is a week on one page from Paper Test Designs. And this is one of Paper Test Designs freebies that she recently came out with. And I just kind of combined them to make a week on two pages. On two pages. So this is my this week tab. And this is again a template from that collab from Paper Test Designs and Planning with Alo. And this is another template from that collab. And I just have uh, a few of these in here. And then this is the weekly from that same collab that I have in here that I want to use. So I just have it in here. And then these are my dailies, which I'm trying to get into the habit of using more. As you can see, these are from May. So I don't use them every day or anything. And these dailies are from Your Paper and Line Co. Um, my code with Chrissy is cassie15 i'll put that somewhere on the screen and also down below and these are also from your paper in line co and this is my today marker this is today these are actually a freebie from a nerd plans on instagram and um i got this idea to use this as like three days so this is today this will be tomorrow and this will be friday i got this idea from sammy plans on instagram and she's i really like uh her planner and how she uses her planner and stuff so and she also gave me the idea to start actually marking off my actual days like once they pass so yeah and then i have a bunch of these in here this is from salty 22 it's like a clear or frosted etched dashboard this is from my minimal planner this is from paper alley this two pocket dash is again from cat espresso co this is from sk journals and this is from planner fluent this is a freebie from queen city designs co and this is a freebie from lizzie plans this uh sammy over at Sammy Plans sent me this. Um, she's so sweet. She made this and I asked her where she got it from and she sent it to me. So um, that was really nice of her. And this is a freebie from Planning with Lens. And this is from the Crescent Planner. This is my next section, my heel section, which is basically everything health related. Uh, so again, this is from Loverly Bones. This is another one of those uh, freebie journaling cards from Neutral Minimal Co. And this is that thing I made on Canva. This is Heal, so it has health trackers and health miscellaneous. I know it's so tiny, you probably can't read it. And um, this is from the Neutral Planner. The Neutral Planner. This I made myself on Canva. This quote I saw somewhere on the internet and I really liked it, so I just made it into a dashboard. This is another one of those templates from that collab with Paper Test Designs and Planning with Allo. I just have some numbers. And then this is my health tracker from Your Paper and Line Co. And this is my, the backside of that, which is my mood tracker. 
and then this is my so this is an insert from um your no not your paper and line co this is from simple and trendy co i'm pretty sure and i use this front and back as my triggers and my gratitude for the month for whatever current month it is so this is august triggers august gratitude i have my headache logs and these are a custom from simple and trendy co this is my period tracker and this is from um peanuts planner co this was a 30 day squat challenge that i never finished <laughs> um i just made this on canva i found the challenge somewhere and made the dashboard on canva this is a skincare routine insert i'm pretty sure this was a freebie i think it was from puff and pages co this is my health one of my health vlogs and this is one of my other health vlogs and this is um medic my medication log this one's from your paper and line co these are from peanuts planner co i think these are some notes from therapy some more notes from therapy and then these are also just therapy notes. This is another collab I did with Your Paper and Line Co. This is from my Minimal Planner. This is, I know it's kind of hard to see, I printed it on acetate. It's a freebie, or it was a freebie from Maria Plans on Instagram. This is from the Crescent Planner. This Jelly Dash is from Cat's Presso Co. This is from Queen City Designs Co., this credit card card. Uh, this is another, actually both of these are another, um, they're freebies from Neutral Minimal Co. And this is a laminate from Allo over at Allo's Creative Corner. Just the ribbon thing came off, so it's completely flat now. Um, this is another one of those freebies from Neutral Minimal Co., these are from Hey Planner Girl. I have two in there that I just kind of stuck in there. Um, the card behind this laminate, the, this card is from Tool and Twine Co. And this laminate is from Lolly.plans on Instagram. She has an Etsy and I believe it's linked in her Instagram bio. And this is more of um, packaging from Ola Dear Paper that I laminated. And this is my last section. It's called Magic. Same thing from Loverly Bones. This is another one of those freebie cards from Neutral Minimal Co. This is from Planner Fluent, and then this is the card I made on Canva. So my Magic section has lists, references, and miscellaneous. This is, I believe this is a freebie from EO Edits. And this is from EO Edits, but it's not a freebie. This is my reading list, my TV series list, and my movie list, all from Alibi Design Studio. This is from Your Paper and Line Co. Right now I just have skincare that I want to try. And this is another list. This is from Peanuts Planner Co. And this is another insert, planner inventory, another collab I did with Your Paper and Line Co. This is my wish list tracker for my planner covers, and then I have other sections in here, like planner accessories, home, and jewelry, and stuff like that. And these are all from Your Paper and Line Co. I have gift ideas for my boyfriend. I have gift ideas for other family members, and these are also from Your Paper and Line Co. This is a uh, discount code insert from My Minimal Planner. These are a favorite shop shops um, insert, and this is also from Your Paper and Line Co. So I have this sectioned off into icon stickers, script stickers, other stickers, dividers, principal inserts, and then I also have another one for freebie principles, which I need to add on to. And then I just have a blank one. I have planners to destash. I believe these are also from Peanuts Planner Co. Crystals to destash. This is like a um, 
a pen insert. I don't really know what else to call it exactly, but it has a spot for a pen name, the tip in color, and then like a little pen test. And these are from my minimal planner. This insert is from um, Annie Plans Printables. I have gifts from last year, so I don't repeat buy for this year. This is from Vienna Ortiz on Instagram. And then I just have extra daily, I mean, not daily pages, just extra pages in general. So these are from Paper Test Designs, Paper Test Designs. I believe this is from Annie Plans Printables. This, I think, is from Peanuts Planner Co. Peanuts Planner Co. Annie Plans Printables, Annie Plans Printables. And this is from Foxy Fix. Okay, so these are um, freebies. So this one is from With Leslie Co. This one is from Papery Planning, and it um, is Maria's freebie. I don't know. I think this is from last term, I think. So I think they're different freebies now if you use their codes. And this one was Gen uh, Jenny's over at My Minimal Planner. This is another uh, freebie card from Neutral Minimal Co. And this is from SK Journals. And that is it. I don't have anything in this pocket. Um, I do have something in the back pocket. I got this idea again from Arel. I think this is from Pretty Planner Crafts. It was a freebie. And I just have some sticky notes on here just so that I have extra sticky notes with me. And that's all I have back here. And I don't have anything in this pocket or in this pocket so that is it oh and if anyone is if anyone was wondering or is curious this is from pretty planner crafts and that's it so i hope you enjoyed this video um and if you have any questions you can comment below or you can dm me on instagram if you'd like and thank you guys for watching. Bye.